NATO is developing numerous land corridors to send American troops and weapons to the front lines in the event of a major ground war with Russia. According to the plans currently developed, American soldiers will land at one of five ports, the Daily Telegraph reports, citing sources. They will then be sent along pre-planned logistical routes to counter a possible Moscow attack. The land corridors come amid warnings from the alliance's top leadership that Western governments must prepare for conflict with Russia in the next two decades. Logistics routes have become a key priority after NATO leaders agreed at a summit in Vilnius last year to have 300,000 troops on high alert to defend the alliance. Current plans call for American troops to land at Dutch ports before and then travel by train through Germany to Poland. In the event of a Russian invasion of NATO, US troops would arrive at the port of Rotterdam and then be sent east. But NATO is agreeing to expand routes to other ports to make sure Russia cannot cut off land lines of communication. Ukraine is suffering greatly from these Russian long-range missile attacks on logistic systems, said Lt. Gen. Alexander Solfrank, head of NATO's main logistics directorate SEC. If NATO forces coming from the Netherlands are hit by Russian bombing or Moscow's forces destroy northern European ports, the alliance plans to focus on ports in Italy, Greece, and Turkey. From Italian ports, US troops can cross overland through Slovenia, Croatia, and Hungary, which shares a border with Ukraine. Similar plans exist to transport forces from Turkish and Greek ports through Bulgaria and Romania to reach the alliance's eastern flank. Plans are also being developed to transport troops through ports in the Balkans, as well as through Norway, Sweden, and Finland. In these corridors, the military will not be limited by local regulations and will be free to transport cargo without the usual restrictions. Over the past five years, SEC has been conducting audits to identify various routes that could be used to transport troops to fight the Russian invasion. Ports in Northern Europe, such as the Netherlands, Germany and the Baltic states, are considered particularly vulnerable to Russian missile attacks. Everything is created in such a way that there is the necessary stability, reliability and reserves, Sol Frank said. Following warnings that NATO has only 5% of the air defense it needs to cover its eastern flank, the SEC commander is concerned about the surface-to-air capabilities to protect its key logistic centers. Assessing the Russian war in Ukraine, we notice that Russia attacked Ukrainian logistics bases. This leads to the conclusion that huge logistics bases will be attacked and destroyed first of all in a conflict situation. As for air defense. It is always not enough, I can't imagine a situation where you have enough air defense. This is a good example of the application of the military principle, if you want to be strong everywhere, you are strong nowhere, Sol Frank said. Добрый день. Получается, подорвалась бэха. Бэха. Номер определить не можем. Вот. Экипаж два человека был. И ребята как бы погибли все заживо. Не, дефи не дефицировать. Ничего. Вроде вот 122. Не знаем, к чему относится. Вроде, может, к 11 танковой армии. Может, еще к чему. Вот, получается, ребят прикопали. Вот, ну, могилки безымянные. Как бы, если кто знает, что... Да как? Как бы, что это за подразделение? Вот здесь вот они прикопаны. Вот там крест, штаматы и каска. Вот. Вдруг видео ни до кого не дойдет. А телефон найдут. Вот. Получается, что так. Ну, в принципе, все. Мы еще живы. Thank you.
Ukrainian troops intercepted and destroyed two Russian Iskander K cruise missiles and two UAVs on Thursday, Commander of the Air Force of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Lt. Gen. Mykola Olshchuk stated. In a post and Telegram app, Olshchuk revealed that the Iskander K missiles were destroyed after they were used to launch an attack on Ukraine's Dnipropetrovsk region from the territory of Russian-held Crimea Peninsula. In addition, around midnight, Russians used four unmanned aerial vehicles in the northern direction of the front. Two of the drones were intercepted and destroyed by units of mobile firing groups of the defense forces in the Chernihiv region, and two more ceased to exist, Olshchuk said. Ukraine's air defense forces also shot down two Russian missiles in Dnipro on June 4. Furthermore, General Staff of Ukraine's armed forces reported that Air Force's missile and artillery units hit five Russian manpower clusters, four air defense systems, an artillery system, and two ammunition depots in the past 24 hours. Earlier, Ukraine reported that it struck the S-300, S-400 air defense systems in Russia's Belgorod region across the border from the Kharkiv war zone. The attack was launched with the use of US-made HIMARS, high-mobility artillery rocket system.